Good evening. Welcome to the Gary Brasky Show. Just sitting up there getting ready. And I am ready. Tonight's show is on the occult and magic. I was going to wear my occult outfit, but I didn't feel like putting on a suit and tie, which is how most of them dress. And most of the people who practice the occult you will see in the Fortune 500 companies, in show business, and in every area that's successful. And don't take my word for it. Google anybody and the occult, and you'll see from Madonna to anybody, to any world leader, that there was a connection. Because the occult works. Now, a lot of them abuse the connection and want it too much, too fast, and screw up their life. So, I have an occult webinar coming up on this Friday, next Friday, and the Friday after, that pretty much covers everything. But it's not the kind of occult stuff that has gotten people into serious trouble. You'll get the same results without paying any penalties. And I want to wait till there's more people pop on to pop around like pop, 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 uh, to get into some of the uh, details on occult stuff that you would not believe is actually out there and that you've done already and you don't know the power you have. And I'm talking about conjuring up spirits. So I'll wait till a couple of questions come in and I'll talk to you about how you have conjured up spirits in your life and you don't even know it and how much more you can get. So let's see if anybody's got a question so I know that somebody's watching this, somebody's hearing it. Because before I can get on here, I've got to check, I will not say this about that, this about that. I have very restricted speech here. So um, that's why I have the webinars because I can actually let go. This is sort of like, you know, I have to be on my best behavior or I will, yeah. The famous lose my fucking account. So, um, the occult is fascinating because it is so well hidden. Not so much these days, but it is so hidden in the secret societies and stuff like that. And half these guys that do very well in every area, they don't know half of the shit that I will be showing you the next three Fridays. How do you know that? Because they buy my books and they call me. Before I was into picking up girl books and stuff like that, which I do the best ones and the audios. Uh, wow, a lot of questions. I, I was the best selling author of occult books. And I had worked with a friend of mine who may be on the show. We were doing occult rituals with people. We were doing it so well. But we were doing it out of his apartment, had a real nice place. People were getting such good success. He had a move. And he didn't care how much money they were bringing. He couldn't take it. It was every second. We would blow a joke about this. They glad it was your house, not mine. The doorbell would ring. The phone would ring. Uh, we had beepers back then. We were going back a long time ago. So uh, let me get to some questions, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, different mark. Good evening. Yeah, I, I want to be Alpha. Any good websites for audio supplements? Damn right, GaryBrodsky.com. The only real website you'll find, and everything on there will make you Alpha. Look around, listen, it all works. Start with how to talk to women, anything. Oh, there's so many Alpha programs. They're all Alpha pro programs. It's like going to a diner going, is there anything here that would be like considered food? Yeah, all of it. And it all works, so thank you for asking. Lou, how you doing? Okay, what do I mean by bypassing women's defenses? Okay, that was about something else, but uh, now that you can hear me, still wait for the occult questions to come in. And if you want to ask a question, Gary Brodsky123 at AOL.com. Okay, when you bypass somebody's defenses, Let's bring it down to a uh, combat level because it's all everything in life is combat. I'm smoking a cigarette, I'm fighting gravity. 
I'm with this glass of soda. I'm fighting Gary Ravi. Everything is a fight, and everybody wants to win. So what do I mean by bypassing the defensive? If I were to tell you, okay, let's have a fight and square off. I'll tell you what, let's have a fight in three months. You can train. You know there's going to be a fight. You can prepare. You can be ready. But if I just say, hey, boom, you know, and I'm talking about that with picking up women, you have bypassed my defenses. The, the whole idea of that is the seduction thing is they cannot set up, and women do set up defenses when you start talking to them. They start putting up their defensive guard, their defensive their, their tests. You want to get past it before they can set it up. So you're in, in this zone, because it's all about penetration with women, that's right. Yeah, I said it. Before they can set up the defenses over here. You want to get behind enemy lines, which is encoded in their DNA. So uh, I hope I made that point clear. Let's see if there's any more questions. Checking for questions. Okay, now, this is a big part of the show. When I have my soda break, of course I don't leave, I have it here. And I play music so you can relax and enjoy it. Go to GaryBrodsky.com, OccultVoice.com, BrainTrainPower.com, WealthPlusPower.com, and buy something while I drink some soda. Good idea, right? Especially the soda part, I know that. Okay, I am going to talk about conjuring up spirits as soon as I get one question about the occult. I don't care if it's a stupid question. Believe me, I love stupid questions. I ask it myself. Soda break! Questions? Okay, nothing yet. I can deal with that. But on this occult webinar, I will be describing and starting on the 18th of July. That's this month. And if you miss it, really, I, all I have to say is too bad. Because what will you get out of it? Everything. Because in everybody, you always think, oh man. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. There is a way. There is a way. You've tried everything else. It doesn't work. There is a way that does work. It is only written in every page of history from the most ancient civilizations. And now, today, they hide it from you. They hide it everywhere they can. They hide it in plain sight. It's pretty obvious. The cults run nations. The occults run everything. But to use it for your own personal self, why not? Because it works. You can say maybe it's anti Bible. It's not. And I'll tell you why. Because the Bible says do not practice sorcery. But before that translation was in there, it said do not practice pharmakia. That was the original thing. What is pharmakia? Medication that screws with your mind, that screws up your body. And that's exactly what they're doing today, big time. But now, the Bible is full of cult. Look at Deuteronomy, Leviticus, uh, all the healings. They weren't just done with you're healed. Mixed mud and spit and other things, all that would be included. Uh, numerology, hey, there's a book of numbers in the Bible. You probably don't know that if you don't read it. But I will show you how to conjure up a spirit and that you have in a few minutes because people are still popping on like there's no tomorrow. And who knows the way the world is today? There might not be. Wow, a lot of questions. Hey, Lou, how you doing? I meant to ask why you said in this particular CD set, uh, you put, yeah, the faster, you know, I'm just put it this way. The faster you move in, again, the less time somebody has to put in defense. And it just shows you how to move in fast. Because why go on five dates? Because the longer you wait to move in, that fire is dying. That girl is uh, going to be gone. 
If you don't move it fast, first of all, your odds become less every second you wait. That's right. And first, she thinks, you know, this guy's not moving in on me. What's wrong with me? That takes about two seconds. Then it's like, okay, what the fuck is wrong with you? Women know when you go, well, hello, how you doing? That you're not there to really find out what they think of the day or if they're having a nice day. They know the deal. And guys go around pretending that just they say hello. No, women want guys to be interested in them. They want alpha guys. They want guys who are going to be the kind of guy that's going to go out with the guts and say, hey, you're hot, you're this, you're that, and that exactly how to do it is on that audio program. Only 17 bucks. If you don't like it, you get your money back. Plus, yeah, oh, you know it. It's coming right now. Free of charge. You know, this is, applies to everybody. If that doesn't work for you, within 30 days, you get your money back. Plus, we send you the knife to cut it off with. Okay, now come on, you can't beat that. And I'll show you about something about possession in a second. Because I got all the, all the cool guys are lining up right here. Now they're not cool, they're just a million. Uh, but you're going to love this, so hang out. It'll be recorded, yes. But it will be at the same exact price, no discounts, no deals. This is too good. Okay. Gary, I had a reading from a medium. My best friend who died of cancer, sorry about that, came through and wanted part of the conversation. She described him to a T, and I never mentioned him to her. How is this possible? Pete. Okay, I can tell you exactly how it's possible. There are two types of mediums. And I, I've, I've studied this stuff. I go, I've gone to mediums. Some that know how to make up shit that sounds real, and some that actually are real. And it sounds like this one is real. And how they do it? They study it. I remember when I was a kid, I went to a karate demonstration. I didn't even know what karate was. I saw guys smashing boards and bricks. And, um, you know, I was being a devious kid. I there must be some trick to this. I just took one of the boards and stuck it in my jacket. And I got a big squish. I wanted to see the board was fake. I took it home. My hand was the size of a baseball glove. I couldn't break it. How'd they do it? They studied it. They trained. And that, that's how she did it. So I, I've been to some mediums that scared the crap out of me. I went to one that was an American Indian. And he was a, not, did not tell me about the future. He told me everything about the past, my favorite toys, what happened in school, um, the illnesses I had as a kid. By the way, I've never been sick since then. So I actually have had no doctor. Uh, no, I'm not going to do this song. I don't need no fucking doctor. But, yeah, people have, you know, people say I'm born with a gift. I don't believe in that. Maybe it's it's so. I mean, a lot of cases, I know guys who are really tall and big and strong, they're born with that gift. But uh, people asked me once, how did I become an artist uh, for Marvel Comics? Which, if you Google me, it's, it's a fact. And I took eight months out of my life and just practiced drawing day in, day out, night. I remember I missed the New Year's Eve date. I could kill us. I want to be an artist. And I did it. And I said, okay. Now I did it. I learned it. I, you know, I studied Became what I, you know, sacrificed tremendously. Eight months of my life. But I actually did what I wanted to do. And became what I wanted to become. It takes work. It takes study. It takes struggle. But, uh, okay, uh, Lou, I see what you mean. I, I, I don't apologize. And now I'm going to tell everybody after this. Um, uh, how you conjure up spirits that you don't even know you're doing and possessing other people and you don't even know how everybody getting ready for this answer to answer the lose, lose question on one CD you say go through the dating romance phase in how to play women you say to bypass dating and romance phase different goals correct one doesn't go through a dating phase before fucking her like you know <laughs> you're teaching on how to play women Great CD. Yeah, one of my best. And, yeah, there's no conflict there. I know a lot of martial artists watch this show, so I'll use the martial arts thing. You can block and counter or block and strike simultaneously. 
The idea is winning. There are several strategies to winning. Just like a baseball game, not only the sports, but you can bunt or hit a home run. You've got to know all the strategies because you don't know where you're going to find yourself or in what situation. So there's no conflict there. I have pretty much covered almost every area you're going to get into. Because sometimes, hey, if you get a phone number, you call up. You can't make that quick in-person move. you got to switch to a different uh, tactic. Or, you know, you're going out with a bunch of people you see somebody you like. you got to start romancing them, pulling them into you. But if you're alone in a bar and there's somebody sitting at a bar stool, boom, you're in. You have to move quick. All things for all situations. There is no one way. Well, there actually is one way, but it breaks down into many branches. And that one way is alpha. Now I want to get back to the occult. And thank you so much, because How to Play Women is one of the best audios. And uh, because I have so many, people forget about that one. So let me remind you, it is one of the best audios around. It has probably gotten people more laid than any pimp in the world. And that's a fact. Okay, now I'm going to tell you how you've conjured up spirits in your life. This is great. But I'm taking a soda break first. So, How to Play Women is for sale right now, I think. Sale in soon. Hit up GaryBrotz.com. Get it. I guarantee you will be happy. Or well, you know the deal. It's right here. Yep. Off it comes. That's it. I'm not playing games yet. This reminds me of something stupid. Uh, I was in a nightclub and some girl said to me, do you want to play pool? I said, sure. She goes, I like you, but I'm not into playing games. I said, okay, fuck the pool. I said, what? You know, just a little story there. Okay, soda break time. Obviously, I need this, okay? <laughs> All right, very simple. This is the way you've conjured up spirits in your life and you don't know it. And this is just nothing compared to what's going to be in that webinar. Okay, you always have people saying, don't curse, don't use bad words. Now, here's the example. Okay, my father was a reasonable man. My mother was too, so many of your parents were. And I would say, hey, dad, what? Fuck. Boom! You get smacked, right? That was easy. You're allowed to do that. Now, by using a bad word, which is what they called it back then, I don't know what they call it today, he smacked me. What did I do by using one word? I conjured up a spirit that put enough anger in him to make him smack me, which he never wanted to do. Why? People will react to curse words. You say something bad to somebody, and all of a sudden they get, what the fuck? Yeah, you just conjured up a spirit and put that in the other person. Now, could you imagine if you knew the real curses? Because those are just like bad words, and they have an effect. If you knew the real curses, and guess what? You don't have to be there to do them. You can get people to do anything you want for them. Or for you. You can get good things too. Because words have powers. Unbelievable power. And that's a very small example of conjuring up a spirit in people. Hey, and now the guy's following you in his car wants to beat the shit out of you. Why? Symbols. So all of this and so much more will be covered. And there's a way to know. And I actually, this is what inspired this. I know I do supplements. I try to make my own supplement. And a lot of them work out great, but I test them on myself. And I did the test to see if this would work for me. It said, do not take this. And there's uh, somebody watched the show saw what happened when I took this. I took it. I was climbing the walls. I didn't know where I was, who I was. This is all natural stuff. By the way, this is not for sale, okay? And it took me. I lost an entire day. Did not know what the hell I was doing. Somehow I even got a haircut. I don't even remember who how or why or when I got the haircut. 
so but I did this thing which tells you whether to proceed or not and it said don't and I said nah this can't be true just you know again and huh, it's true and what's going to be covered on the uh, webinar is let's say you've, yeah, a lot of guys say I want women can I get this girl and you do whatever you need to do should be really explained on the webinar and it says no you can't well now you don't have to get it say well I guess I can't you can now say what can I do to get this girl and it will be explained in detail and it's not major things it could be a candle it could be leaving an apple outside I'm not sure but you will be after the webinar and it does not fail anybody so check it out GaryBrass.com webinars go take a look while I take some questions this thing is still checking for mail okay Lou how are you doing again so sometimes you can go through the dating phase and sometimes bypass it take a home without even exactly they're both fun being alpha alone turns her on whatever she wants without even dating with how to play women it can be as easy or hard as you make it basically on men's terms forget trying to impress her that's a big one Lou thank you for bringing that up I was talking to a woman who's going to be uh, possibly a guest this week on the Wednesday night show. She went out with 90 guys in a year. And all they did was try to impress her, which is the biggest turnoff in the world. And I'm, I'm glad you understood that. You know, because you're like a kid when you're trying to impress girls. Look what I have. I have this, I have that. I own a building, I own this, I own. They don't give a shit. You know, if they're gold diggers, they give a shit about what you have, not who you are, not having fun. So, you know, this guy's, it's a sign of weakness. You know, it's cute when kids do it. Look what I have, and, you know, they, they show you the toys. It's cute. But when you're an adult, it is not cute. And that's unfortunately how men have become today is that they. don't know how to date and if you look at not how to date how to date right how to date like a prick and alpha dating great audios definitely get them because that happens to so many guys they get the audio on how to pick up the girl oh I picked up the girl we're going out Friday night they go wow what happens there I don't have a clue what to do and they call me up hey can I get a consultation sure where are you I'm in the men's room I'm on a date I don't know what to do oh, it's a little late for that she got the audio program Great CDs, thank you for the info. Thank you. Yeah, they come in a glass bottle. Sometimes possibly plastic. What's the difference? That's a different loo. It's loo night tonight. That's kind of interesting. But just by a few words, you can do anything. A cult is what is in every secret society, what is hidden, and they're using it for the worst possible reasons. Number one, be there so you can protect yourself from their shit. Number two, be there so you can do this stuff. So no is never an option. It's like well, I'll explain how to do readings at the, on the webinar because it would take too long right now. Otherwise, I, I would tell you, you do a reading that says, no, you cannot have this. Well, what can I do to get this? Oh, that. And it doesn't fail. I remember there was one time uh, I was recovering from getting knocked out in a fight. It's like the movies where you get right back up. And, no, I was like in bed and I said, well, you know, I got to get 
some action, you know, who should I call? Now, I knew this stuff since I was a kid because I grew up in Cajun country where this stuff is very common. And I was throwing a bunch of stuff around. I'm not going to get into details what it was on who I could sleep with. And this one said, no, and what can I do for this one? Uh, you know, put this here, move it. And I kept saying, how about this? How about that? A lot of the four girls I wanted, cut them all. And it's funny because I never told them I was at them. It was just very, hi, how you doing? And they're like, hi, why don't you come by my place? I'm like, Whoa, shit, this works. And um, I don't use it that much because I actually enjoy playing the game to win. You know, that's why you know, I look at the video games, they have cheat codes. I don't know how to play it. Um, I do play internet chess. And I never do undo. Because I like the game. I like the, I like the thrill of knowing whether I'm going to win or lose. But sometimes, yeah, for things like things you want, you can bypass the probability factor and make it definite. That's what the webinar is all about. And I suggest you sign up quick because it is going quick. And I don't want to have a thousand people on there. It's checking for mail again. This thing does that. Absolutely. Absolutely will accept it. And on your word, Jason. You will never, ever struggle again. And if you do, your money back. No knife. Because the only way the occult will not work is if you don't do it. And that's how I've got myself in the trouble. I, I know it's going to work, but I'll do it tomorrow. To the next day. Boom, too late. You're being sued. And now how do you get out of this? Boom, boom, boom. You know, this has been going on. A cult has been going on in every, every culture that has ever existed. And, of course, the majority of the cult, and I hate to say this, has been to dumb you down and to make you think it doesn't work. But look at any president and tell me any president that ever died of cancer. Because they know the health rituals. They don't have any secret drugs or pills. Because as you can see, now I, I could die tomorrow. I'm still ahead. Okay? I have not been to a doctor since I was a little kid. And I'm not exactly a health fanatic. Yet I have never been sick. And I got the flu once. And I hated it. But yeah, because why? I stopped doing the stuff. So yeah, well, I skipped one week. What the hell? And then when that flu hits you, I don't like it. Not only last three days, but it was a bad three days. It's like, oh shit. If I would have just maintained it. But getting anything, it's easy. Because you look at these guys who have tons of money. Okay, and a lot of these guys are morons. And it's like, you wouldn't even want to talk to them, much less they're cutting business deals. Without charisma, without charm, they're like, you know, that fucking face. But they go to these lodges where either they or somebody else does the occult for them and they just come into money. And money and, to me, relationships are important in life. And, yeah, you know, also, if you want to be biblical about this thing, God says, I am the Lord of hosts. Meaning the lesser gods, the angels, the saints, whatever you want to call them. So you deal with the hosts. Okay, he's got the big stuff. The small stuff, that's what the hosts are for. Even says it, I am the Lord thy God, I shall have no other gods before me. Meaning, there are other gods, but remember he's first, and you'll never get into trouble. Never. Just mentioning that, for those of you who are, fr are frightened. That was somebody who wants to remain nameless who said that they had taken the occult class from me in person about how many years ago was that? 23 years ago and has had a great life ever since and will be joining the webinar. You can always use some refreshing. Hey Gary, thanks. My life has been great. I paid a lot more years ago. Well, you're paying less now, okay? 
But I was in person. Okay, we had fun. We went out. We went to that Korean restaurant. I think I've told this story before, but uh, it bears repeating. Um, this guy did not believe in the occult. No way this shit works. So I know a guy's really good at it. He's teaching me. And uh, he went there and he said, listen, I really want to get back together with my old girlfriend. But I can't find her. There's no computers back then. 22 years ago. I don't know where to even reach her. We were great. I broke up with her. I was being an asshole. I want her back. And I want her back being my wife. And um, the guy said, give me 900 bucks. And you'll have her. You know that crazy? I said, take a shot. This guy's stuff works. This is the guy who's teaching me. He gives the guy 900 bucks, and the guy did the ritual, which will be explained on the webinar. And we're leaving the place. We're driving. He goes, I don't even know what country she's in. She was from out of the country. He goes, this, this, this stuff can't work. All of a sudden, boom! Somebody hits his car. You know, oh, shit. He gets out. It's his ex-girlfriend. To this day, they're married and they have kids. And um, he will be uh, one of the guests on the webinar. Because he not only did he say, now I believe, he went back and studied with this guy. He was a great teacher, by the way. And so that's, that's, that's how fast it works. I remember this. We were on the phone one day. And he couldn't believe that. And he goes, this stuff really work? And I said, let me play around and send the spirit to your house. That'll scare the shit out of you. He goes, and this is a tough guy. He's one of the toughest guys I've ever met. He goes, nothing scares me. You know that. He has his voice. He goes, nothing scares me. You know that, right? I said, okay. Let me try my stuff. Hold on. Do what I had to do. I get back on the phone. He goes, I'm leaving. Goes, what do you mean leaving? He goes, I can't stay in my house anymore. I'm going to go find a place to stay. And he actually left his house for three days. We had to go clean out his house to get this guy who was laughing his head, head off. And uh, Because if you conjure up the right spirit. Ah, Bo Johnson in the house. Let's just get to his question. He like I know he hits a question, he probably runs out. Because he never gets back. You mentioned my favorite audio program, How to Play Women. That's all I do. I told one of my girlfriends after we had spent some time together. And a couple of days later we spoke. I told her I was a complete gentleman that night and it got us absolutely nowhere. I told her the next day I was going to be a complete creepy pervert. She laughs so hard and she keeps coming back for more. This shit works. It always works. Be the alpha guy you were meant to. And the answer to the second question is yes. Oh, it always works. You know, the, the, it should be easy now. Anybody who's gotten the audio, it should be easy to get the women. Okay? Easy. And I'm going to have to make fun of the other dating gurus in a second. But at first, I definitely need some sort of that. But uh, soda break time, yes. Technically, I don't have any advertisers. But if you have any websites or anything you want to advertise for free on the show, just send me an email to GaryBrodsky123 at AOL.com and I'll advertise your stuff for free. I used to advertise a tattoo parlor here, but the guy has too much business right now, so he, he, he can't handle it. So, you know. so while I take a soda break, check out GaryBrodsky.com webinars. Just, just for a look, just for a look, and uh, I shall be back. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, about the occult. Uh, yeah, uh, people who know me. Uh, yeah, that's why they won't make this mistake. I had made mistakes when I first started doing the occult. Oh, by the way, I did write the best-selling book on the occult that there is called How to Use the Powers of Darkness. 
which is about two thousand dollars on eBay and like nineteen dollars at GaryBrodsky.com in the ebook section. That stuff works. No guarantees. Nothing does work. Anybody? And the reviews of the book are great because I used to have it on Amazon. But the physical copies have totally disappeared. They sold out that fast. I won't put them out anymore. But one of my favorite reviews is the guy is a dick. But the stuff works. And the other reviews are and nobody should print a book that has this much power. If you think that's power, join the webinar. Then you get the real deal. Much more powerful than that book. Yeah. Here's an interesting question. Gary, have you ever been out with a group of women? And then another one comes up to you, all upset because you forgot you were going to take her out instead. That was last week, and I told her, why don't you just join us, let's have a full house. And she said, yes, how to play women works. Thanks. Thank you, Jason. How to play women does work. It is one of the best audios. And I'm tired of sending out mailing pieces, because just by word of mouth, that audio is one of the best. And as everybody here has that, and I may send out a mailing piece, but what the hell? Um, a lot of new stuff there that works too. How to Play Women is like classic martial arts that you cannot lose for getting women. It is so goddamn good. Um, I listen to it myself. Because if you think I just sit down and record something, like, okay, this is pretend microphone. Hopefully this won't open up. Okay, how to play with my hands, how we do it. No. Oh, I didn't forget about making fun of the other dating guys. I'm going to get to that in a second. And I need your help. I work from notes gathered by the U.S. intelligence. What is always a common denominator are what women will and will not do and how to get them to do it. All on how to play women. Get it tonight and enjoy it, a woman tomorrow. It's that quick. You don't have to practice it. Okay. Time to make fun of Danny Girls. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have a cigarette. Okay, too late for that. Yeah, I know. Did I ever try? quitting smoking. Yes, I have. What a tough hour of my life. Anyway, the other day, there's, I posted something on Facebook, if you, if you have any of you my friends on Facebook, it's not a request. I don't discriminate to take anybody's friends. Why? Why not? I have a clip of these guys going, well, here's how you meet women. Is they, you have, what is, that is, New World Order, Degenderization stuff these guys do better than I do, I guarantee that, because they are preaching the genderless society, guys acting like a bunch of total saps, a bunch of immature, not men, but boys, and women don't like boys. They want men. Real women want real men. Alpha men. Some girls are sending her pictures. Don't show these to anybody. And I don't. Actually, uh, I am tortured that I can't, but I don't. Don't worry about it. I will not send you a picture out. But that's a nice picture. No, hey, I, I love beautiful women. And to me, there's no such thing as an ugly woman or an ugly man. Only a lazy woman or a lazy man. Think about that. Okay, every day, shave, shower, comb my hair, put on something nice, feel great, pump myself up. You see these people walking around like human fucking planets. They don't have to be like that. Um, they don't have to be unattractive. 
if you put time into yourself, the best investment you can make. Here, investment counseling by Gary is in yourself. That is the best investment you can make. Is in yourself. Which would benefit you more? Watching a sports game or doing a 10 sets of 60 sit-ups? So just uh, mentioning that uh, little, little factoid there. All right, as we update, this thing updates every. This thing up. This thing is anyhow. Yes, push-ups. I got a question about that. Uh, push-ups are a great exercise. You don't need weights, and you can do enough push-ups to impregnate the world. So it looks like you try to do right. Um, it works. Yeah, there was a time I only worked out twice a week, and just did push-ups. That was it. Three sets of, uh, of like forty. Body responds quick to exercise, and if you get my DHEA, because I can tell you I have so I have bags of supplements. What do I spend my money on? Other people's products to see if they work or not, and I've tested them, and none of it works except the stuff that I have there, the gold, the Alpha Boomine, the DHEA. That all works. That alphas you up. Testosterone is the key. I'm not going to put down anybody else's product because I don't feel like getting sued, but they don't work, okay? They have great ad copy. I know one of the guys that writes the ad copy and he goes, this shit sounds like it works. It doesn't work. But uh, he charges 10000 a page, and he's worth it because the stuff that actually people are lining up, and it doesn't work. But back to the occult. The occult does work. Everywhere you go, churches, Buddhist mosques, there's candles going. Why? Ambiance? No. They know. On the top levels, they know. And you'll know what they know and more. Oh, it's soda break time again. It comes up. See, I'm glad. I, you know. As those of you who've tried to reach me, I know some of you have. I do not have this with me all the time. I'm not going to be a slave to this fucking thing. It's great for the show. Um, and I keep it in my car. I have to drive around for like half hour to charge it. I don't like to be around this. You start depending on this. What's the weather? What's this? What's that? You start losing yourself. Just my own personal thing. Okay, sort of break times just reminded me. And some music. Check out GaryBrowski.com. Check out that webinar. See if it fits for you. Yes, Sora. Got to drink the soda during the music. Whoa! Any time music back on, but what the fuck, right? But if you notice that that just those bad words conjure up spirits of people, gets them angry, gets them motivated, gets them moving, and that's what people who don't even know what they're doing. Can you imagine when you know what you're doing? And the winner is the fucking horse. Okay. Soda goes great with cigarettes. Yeah, Marlboro Black. They're not special. <laughs> I don't know why it cracks me up. See, uh, I do love women almost all women because they're unique they're great and that is a key let me just explain that if you love women not yourself and that's explained in a lot of the audio programs 
you gotta love women. You gotta love yourself too. But if you just want a woman, nah. If you love a woman, yes. And if you act as if you already have a woman, you're gonna get her. Act as if uh, been selling like crazy for some, some unknown reason, must be mentioned on a show or something. Does work. All things GaryBasky.com, WealthPlusPower.com. All right, some stuff about those dating gurus. Here we go. Wow, time flies. You know, sometimes the radio show seems like it takes forever. And this show just flies right by. Why do those dating gay idiot gurus complain so much when they see how easy it is for us guys to get women? Because those idiots try the women and just laugh and start making fun of fuck those idiots because Gary Brodsky is the best and they will always best and will always be. Thanks. Hey, thank you. That, I really do appreciate that. Those other guys, first of all, my hands are 16 years old. They had one date, probably got, got jerked off or something. I'm serious. And I think the dating gurus? No, I'm talking about whether it be cult or by, you know, romance. It doesn't matter. It's going to work. You're going to get actresses, models, supermodels. It doesn't matter. The same game works with anybody else. And that's what guys don't realize. When I hear a guy say, this is when a guy gets a consultation, whether he likes it or not. You know, I met this girl, she's out of my league. Said, Hold it right there. Hold it right there. You have just cursed yourself. And when you say self-deprecating things, which I teach on a lot of the audio programs, I'll teach it right now, self-deprecating jokes, self-deprecating humor, that's going to become your life. Your subconscious mind does not know the difference between fact and fiction. And that's where BraintrainPower.com comes in. Check it out. Don't buy anything. Just check it out. Because you hear it over and over again. And this has been known throughout history. You will become whatever you listen to. And that's why, you know, rock music, you know, all of a sudden a song goes off in your head you heard 25 years ago. If you're over 25, this applies. Why? It's going to play in the back of your head. But if you hear, hey, you're great, you're a success, your subconscious mind hears it, and so you are, you hear it enough, you will become it. There is no other choice. Braintrainpower.com. Check it out. Because um, I had gotten ill once. I don't go to doctors. I was dying. Literally, I was down to like 105 pounds. I don't know what I had. Because I don't go to doctors. How the fuck am I going to know, right? They would have killed me for sure. Right, I'd be watching a blank screen. I called my reverend, Raymond Charles Barker, who I have great reverence for. That's probably why he was a reverend. And he came by and just kept repeating, you are health and your subconscious mind accepts it. And boom. After a lot of repeating, over and over again in my sleep, he wouldn't stop. I woke up one day and thinking, wow, I feel great. And that's it. The subconscious mind, he knew how to work it. Because it works the same for everybody. So check it out, braintrainpower.com. Yes, I am plugging stuff tonight because we have no advertising. Cute. Does brain train power work for girls? It works for anybody with a mind. You have a mind, obviously. Of course it's going to work for girls. Yeah, that's kind of a cute question. It works for everybody. That's what I like about women. The cutest, silliest questions. Uh, I remember once uh, I did a dead devil thing. I'm not going to get into details when I was a teenager. Because I was a little wild. A little. Just, just a little. And she goes, you, and I was dating some girl. She goes, you can get killed. She goes up the next day and said, are you alive? I said, do you really want me to ask that? She goes, yeah, I have to know. I said, well, that's so cute. What if I told them no? <laughs> but yeah, that's the endearing part of women. 
is that they are different and they are trying to make it so that you don't see the difference. They're trying to program women to be men, men to be women, which is part of another occult agenda, which is called a satanic agenda, which I am totally against. And the occult webinar will show you how to avoid it at all costs because today you can't be so overt with what you do. It's politically incorrect, it's this, it's that, but if you're covert, it works. I had a uh, my friend, I call him OPJ, my old pal. Um, he said, that kind of imitate his voice. And he's watching now, so I know it's okay. I hope. This is his voice. He goes, this, this stuff works. Let's see what you can do. I did a ritual. And I was living alone at the time. So, well, we'll meet two girls and we'll bring them back. He goes, uh, impossible. We went out, we went to this restaurant. We never got in the restaurant. We were walking at the same time as two girls. And if you remember, one of them looked like Janis Joplin, one of them looked like Sandra D. We brought them right back to my house, and we spent the night with them. Because this stuff works. Thank you for reminding me. Now I just get emails. I want this girl. Here's a picture. Thanks. And this guy will never be pussy whipped. She's getting my nerves. So I get rid of her for me. Thank you. Then he plays me the tape message. I never want to see you again. Huh? Good job. Well done. He never gets too emotional. And he might come on the show to give testimony to the rituals to work. Oh, and to mention. And not to mention, uh, I was unemployed and now I'm chairman of the board of a, a large corporation. Thank you. I'm not going to say he has no skill, but he wasn't even looking for it. He said, can you make me chairman of the board of a big company? Well, I said, no. How about a medium-sized company? He said, okay. Any job, he's now chairman of a company that is big enough that if I mention you know the company. All by some ritual magic. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's have a last and final round of questions. And I will see you all, of course, on the Wednesday show when nobody talks. Except me. Last time, they canceled it out because they didn't like the question. Not the question, the show topic. The uh, feminization of the uh, male. It was deemed offensive. Somebody somewhere did the deeming. So, um, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, I tried to call the show in. Yeah, I, I tried to get on. But I was deemed offensive. And if I'm offensive, it means I'm, I'm hitting the right spot. Because right now, everything is offensive. In California today, they passed a law. You can't use the word husband or wife. It offends people. Think of the sick, twisted minds out there. That is why you need the covert methods to get whatever the hell you want. Enjoy your life. You only have one, one shot around here on this planet that I know of. So instead of hoping, wishing, do something about it. Hey, Chris, finally. Hi, Chris. Got to do that with him. I don't know why. Hi, guys. For once, I've been pretty quiet during your show. I said it before, and I'll say it again. To all men, alpha up or shut up, Chris, could not be said better. Could not be said better. In fact, that line on my uh, opening page, alpha territory, that's from him. I used it. Man knows his stuff. And I'm glad to see that you're here tonight. Now I'll just reset to the last question of the night. And I hope it's, and hopefully, you know, it's, it's funny when I get the phone calls, I get phone I don't get crank emails. So if you want to crank email me, go ahead. I don't care. You know what's funny when the show is on YouTube? Because I put them all on YouTube because. 
Well, most people don't actually know they're on YouTube. So now you know they're all on YouTube. Thumbs up, everybody, because I need that. People think it's live. That's like any questions. That's why I don't carry this thing around. You know, like a hundred questions. Like, but I'm not live. And the answer was saying, I'm not live. And how the hell do you answer this question? I was stuck for an answer. I couldn't figure it out. But, okay, yes. In Conjuring Up Spirits, that's why there's a reason gangsters talk. Like, hey, you know all these guys over there, right? Conjures up a spirit in people. Oh, that's why financial people speak like, well, let's look at your portfolio. There is a way and a cadence of speech that conjures up spirits. Now, I will show you on this webinar how to conjure up spirits, send them to people, do your work for them. It will be the most frightening thing, and what makes it frightening is that it works. And you know, that was that easy? I never knew this? Yeah, it is that easy. Okay, so there any closing questions? Yes. Private, okay. <laughs> I won't mention your name, but this is too funny. Do you know how funny it is to throw a spirit on someone and riding a bike and watch them fall off? This guy is taking some of my classes. And, yeah, you can do stuff. It is that easy. It's like, I know this guy. It's like child's play. It really is. You can do anything. So you can make girls come to you. I use it for parking spots. I don't care what. I used to go to Manhattan. There's a parking spot right out front. I don't like to park and walk. I don't know why. I just started using the parking spots as an experiment. I have never had a problem parking in my life. There's always a spot. And anybody goes with me in the car, goes, you're never going to find parking. Really? Watch this. And anybody who's ever been out with me knows there is always a parking spot in front. Like, can you park it? Yeah. Or I just drive by and the guy just pulls out. It can be used to anything you want. From women to wealth to health to power and, yes, to parking spots. All right, I'm having too much fun with this. So I'm going to ask for the last question here. Okay. No more questions. Time to close the Gregorian chant. Because if, and here's just a little occult knowledge here, you want to be healthy, and you want to, you know, feel better, just go to YouTube. Hit Gregorian chants and listen to them. They were created to heal and they work. And if you don't think they work, you never tried it. And if you don't think the occult works, you never tried it either. A lot of your occult uh, audios and products at occultsforce.com. Again, GaryBrass.com, BrainTradePower.com. And for those of you who want money and want to hear from the guys who know how to make it, WealthPlusPower.com. And for those of you who want unbelievable power, power you cannot imagine. Power you might be afraid to, because people are afraid of success, afraid of power. Join the webinar. Go to GaryBrice.com. Look at the webinar. I'll see you all on Wednesday. Now, I'll see you all on Wednesday. And there's the chant. Bless you all. Good night. See you Wednesday. Don't forget GaryRath.com, ColdForce.com, WealthPlusPower.com, BrainTrainPower.com. Yeah. Just want to shut it off. Okay. Good night, everybody.